What's up guys, it's me Chris and I've got another great video for you. As you can see, there's boxes on the table so that definitely means we're gonna unbox something. Uh, in this video, I wanna show you a product or a few products that will possibly help you take better pictures with your iPhone. So without further ado, let's get into these boxes. As you can see, you've got three boxes, three bigger boxes and one smaller box. And what these boxes hold are different lenses that have been custom designed to work with the iPhone 6, 6S, 6 Plus, 6S Plus. And they work by attaching to this particular camera mount because this camera is raised on this on the iPhones uh, for the last two years now and with it being raised it allows some creative ways to attach a lens solution to get better results. And there's a couple different results that you can try to achieve with these lenses. Uh, one is macro, one is uh, ultra wide, and one is telephoto. And I'm really excited to see how well these work in practice on my new iPhone 6S Plus. So just wanna go through everything that came with them. I'll link them in the description. Uh, the prices are very reasonable and if the footage that I come back with is anything like I think it's gonna be. I think this will really be a solid product for you all to check out, especially if you're into taking awesome pictures and video uh, with your smartphone. So let's start with the smallest of the boxes. This particular box is the mounting plate, and it does say on here that it's for the iPhone 6 Plus. 6S Plus is the same design roughly, and the packaging fit and finish detail is very nice. It opens just like this. There's application instructions here that will show you how to apply the actual uh, mounting plate. Um, here's what it looks like and it's got a little locking area right around uh, where the lens would go so that you can actually attach the lenses. There are some directions here that you do need to follow in order to apply it, but it should apply seamlessly right in this particular area. Let's actually go in and start talking about these lenses. Uh, the first one and the presentation is stellar. You've got a idea of what the lens is going to look like. This is the macro lens. This is the one I, I probably will use the most because I do love macro photography and video. Uh, moment lens macro and let's slide this little cover off here and see what we get. I mean look even inside the cover just the attention to detail there. It's got little M's in there. This is just I think a really awesome system. Little M on the side there as well and when you open the box you're greeted with a message on the inside. You have some information there. Nice stock, very quality. And then you're presented with the lens itself and it's a little guy and it sits down in there and it's very secure. So really, really nice. Once you actually take the lens out, what you'll notice about it is that it is a awesome metal design, uh, just very well put together, very well designed. Uh, feels heavy, has a nice weight to it, and you can see the threads where it'll actually attach uh, to that mounting plate. Uh, you do have their logo on the side there, which is really nice, and this is just a little retainer. And if you look at the front, there's 25 millimeter times 10 macro lens, and this is a moment lens, and this is made in the USA, so very, very, very nice. Um, what else you have in here, if you go deeper into the box, there's a nice little carrying pouch that specifies which lens you have here, your times 10. You'll put this guy in here and drop it down into the bag, pull it tight, and now you can carry this guy if you're gonna be using it. Very nice bag as well. Let's go and look at the next lens we have, and that is the Moment lens. This is the telephoto lens, it's a 60 millimeter. And again, same presentation, so I won't bore you with that, but looks super, super, Super awesome. The lens itself, this is just beautiful, guys. Look at the glass element there. Just awesome. Can't wait to use this, this is incredible. And another nice little baggie here that has 60 on it, which is the baggie that you would store this lens. Again, all aluminum feel to it. 
just incredible. This is the wide angle, which I'm also really interested in, in testing. It's 18 millimeter, another diagram on the back of the box. Fit and finish is exactly the same. And when you open this particular box, you're greeted with another image that will give you kind of what a wide angle lens would, would capture for you. More information on the back side of the card. And you've got the pedal style lens hood on this one, which I think is really nice. Big, beautiful glass element. It's a shorter lens, very heavy. Quality still looks to be the same. And inside the box, you're greeted with another baggie that also says 18 millimeters. I can fit all these in my hand, so I could easily throw these in the backpack. I could throw them in my wife's purse. I could put them in my pocket if I'm gonna be doing a lot of shooting. And look at the flexibility that this gives me with a smartphone. That to me is incredibly valuable. Went on super duper easy. Here's what it looks like, you guys. It has the Moment logo there. It says put pressure on it for 30 seconds. And you can see that mount and how it sits up on top of that lens. So you should, in theory, be able to use your cases with this particular um, supported uh, mounting plate. We're gonna try that out here in a second because I do have a case handy. Uh, but I just wanted to put this on and kind of show you what it looks like on the naked phone. I am gonna go ahead and try to put my case back on and we're gonna see what happens. And yep, case goes right on on top of it. And you can see that mounting plate under there and it gives it another dimension and it also looks like it was built together. So that just speaks to the precision uh, that this product offers you. It goes in with a firm, you have to press it in so you have to be somewhat firm with it and then twist a little bit and it should lock it in place for you, which is what happened. And this is what it looks like on the phone. And I've got it sitting up the right way. And man, is that beautiful. So once I actually go into my phone with this, I can see quite a bit more of everything than I would normally. Uh, this is the wide angle and I'll show you what it looks like. And actually I'm gonna take a photo with it and then I'll take a photo without it back to back. So that's one, and then I'll take one with it off just to give you guys an idea of what the space difference is. And you guys can just kind of see here the difference just with me moving it in and, and out. Let me also look at the macro and we'll pick something up real quick that I can do some macro work with because I think that's gonna be cool as well. Went on really easy and holy smokes, I am ridiculously close here. Now, I don't know what my minimal focus distance is with this particular lens, but oh, it's I, got, I can get right up on something. Look at that, you guys. That's it. Look at how close I can get to get my focus. Just amazing for macro work. Look at that. That is nuts. Let's go ahead and try the telephoto because that's also gonna be an interesting lens, I think, for this particular system. And yeah, it gives me a close up, but I don't have to get so close up. So it doesn't really, it's like a 60. I mean, it looks good and it looks really clear. So yeah, guys, um, again, I just wanted to kind of show this to you because I thought that this would be something you'd be interested in if you didn't know about it. Um, I will link these guys in the description and hopefully I can get a promo code for you from them. Um, they do have an application as well that's hidden inside of my photos area and it's called the Moment app. And what's cool about it is that inside of that app, it gives you better control uh, over your phone uh, to create some of those images. It really does turn my smartphone uh, into a pocket DSLR video camera that I can really use as a production tool. I will give you guys some test images with this in real world situations and tell you what I like, what I don't like. But so far, I mean, there's really nothing to, to not like here. Uh, just a stellar opportunity uh, for me to test these out. And I am really excited to show you guys what my findings are. So all I got for this video, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know um, how you're using your smartphone uh, to take images. Are you just doing selfies or little pop-up images? What are you actually doing uh, with, your, with your smartphone in terms of video and images? I know 
the best camera I always tell people is the one you have with you and this one's always with me. So this will pay dividends I think for how I create content with my phone, especially for vlogging and things of that nature. Anyway, thank you again. As I said, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.